Ooh. Oh, hey there, R. Hey there, R. D. Do you know what this meeting is about? Oh, I don't know, but Le Vader sounded really angry in his email. How does anyone sound angry in email? You can't even hear anything in email. Well, it's Le Vader. One does he not seem angry? Uh, okay, point taken. Ooh, there he is. Ah. Huh? RT twenty six hundred. Yes, sir. LG1337? Yes, yes, Levator. It, it's an honor to speak with you. You may dispense with the pleasantries, soldier. The Emperor and I are most displeased with the apparent lack of performance of the new website. Its load time is as though it were built by Jawas. Can Jawas even build websites? Le Vader, what you ask, it's impossible. We need more CPUs. I will be arriving at the new Death Star this afternoon for an inspection. If you are unable to provide acceptable performance on your own, perhaps I can find new ways to motivate you. Yes, sir, Le Vader. You wouldn't want me to refer this project to the CEO. He's not as forgiving as I am. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, we are so dead. Sorry, what, what about your head? What? No, no, I said we are so dead. Dude, you cannot go to bed right now. We have to fix the website or Le Vader is going to force push us. I really hate these helmets. I can't hear a thing you're saying. Ugh. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. that, that's better. I can yeah, hear you really. now. Yeah, well, I can see better too. Maybe now you'll be able to hit the broad side of our Star Destroyer. Hey, hush you. We need to figure out how we're going to fix this website before Levedeur arrives and turns us over to the CEO. Yeah, well, how slow is it, really? Um, I don't know. Let's try loading the homepage. Uh... Oh, man. That is really slow. Oh, Pudu. Do you have any idea how much code there is on the site? It'll take weeks to figure it out. Oh, yeah, man. We are dead. That's what I just said. OK, we got to think of something. Where are we hosting this website again? Oh, Platform SH, of course. Oh, good, good. That means we can experiment on a branch without have interrupting the live site. Oh, cool, but experiment how? What we really need is a tool that can examine the entire request and tell us exactly what parts of it are taking so long. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't Platform SH come with support for a tool like that? Now, what's it called? What's it called? The black, uh, dark, dark, dark side. Well, of course it's the dark side. We work for the Empire. Oh, wait, are you talking about Blackfire? Yep, that's it, Blackfire. The PHP profiler. That's exactly what we need. OK, so which of us is going to fix it? Well, we're on Platform SH, duh. We can both work on the site in different branches without bumping into each other. Sweet. Whose idea was it to use Platform SH for this site? Uh, Captain Piet, I think. Well, someone should promote him to be Admiral. Well, totally. But let's fix the site first, OK? All right. You ready? Here we go. Let's go for it. All right. First things first, let's go ahead and make a new branch so that I can work on the site and profiles without impacting the live site or impacting RD2600. So this will take a moment. And then, all right, we've got our new environment set up. It's completely independent. So now let's go look at that branch, that environment that's running. 
now we'll run a, a profile with uh, Blackfire to, to start it off. So I know what we're, what we're working with. Go up to the Blackfire toolbar, run a new profile. And this is going to take 10 requests to get averages, which since the site is so slow, is going to take a while. So I'm going to go get a glass of Utahs while I wait. Hmm. OK. Let's go into the timeline view via the Black, Blackfire toolbar and see what recommendations it has. And oh, dear, what, what's this one? Should leave all caches enabled in Drupal. Um, aren't they? Wait, why isn't the cache enabled? Who turns off the cache? Let, let, let me, OK, let me check the source code. Obvious place. Oh, bantha poop. That looks like a problem. That's supposed to be in settings local PHP, not in settings PHP. Ugh. This is what we get for hiring Corellians. All right, let's just get rid of this whole block here. Turn off the, the, the null cache. Then we can go you know, remove that. If it'll if we build using the real cache. Let's go ahead and commit that. And I, I'll use a commit dash a. It, it, no one cares. And you know, it's not like the Vader actually checks the commit logs. And I'll just push that up to platform. And now that's rebuilding the environment from the source code with this change in it. And let's make sure. Let's check the log. All right. Yeah, it's building. It's building. It should take a, only a moment or two. And yeah, there we go. And it's deployed. Deploying. So I hope RD's having good luck with his branch while I'm working on this. This we need every all the help we can get. All right. Closing the old site. New sites should be deploying now. Bingo. Okay, so now we can go back to the site and try it again with both Blackfire and just visual checks. Okay. Reload myself and, all right, still slow, but it seems to be better. That's something at least. So let's try going to, the, to Blackfire in the Blackfire toolbar and run a second profile. Okay, and we'll try the second profile and I can compare it against the first one. If I remember how to do that. So let's go ahead and profile, do, do, do. And now let's go look at the results through the toolbar. All right, and this is now gonna show me the new information. And there's a way to get a diff. Uh, I'm always forgetting how to get a diff between the two. So I can compare between the old run and the new run and see what actually changed. Where is that? Let's see, we're in PHP 7.4. That's good. Uh, it's up page. at the logo. The logo, right. I'm always forgetting that. Uh, here we are. So that's my old run and my new run. And I can make a comparison between those two. and It'll show me a diff between the two runs. I can see what changed. All right, there's the runs that were different. And, ooh, oh, the total time, wow, went down by 85%. The cache was, a, was taking up 15 seconds. Well, that's caching, the cause of and solution to all the web's problems. All right, wow. Well, I guess I can go merge this back into master. And so that'll do a git merge with the new code and that'll deploy. And now that 15 seconds should be shaved off of the production site right there. Well, I guess hmm, that was easy enough. I wonder how RD2600 is doing. I am going to start by doing a uh, Blackfire profile with the toolbar up there. You can't really see it because it's a little bit cut off of the screen, but uh, there's a toolbar that you put into the browser. And then just seconds later, after that has been profiled, uh, I am able to then go up to the view timeline or uh, view call graph buttons there and I enter the black fire tool. And what I am looking for in this call stack are the uh, functions there that are marked red. Okay, black fire does a really nice thing for me here where um, uh, 
turn that on, where uh, the slower functions or the functions that might be causing some sort of uh, problem in the execution of the code are already marked for my inspection. So uh, I can zoom in on this call graph and I see right away uh, some of the ones that are problematic. Mm -hmm. That one sticks out at me right away. It's got um, 1.75 seconds of execution time, which is huge. I mean, nobody can expect this website to uh, be fast when you've got a function like that in there. And it's coming from the do render algorithm, okay? We need to render the Death Star, and in the do render algorithm of the Death Star, there's a use sleep function. That can't be right. So thanks to Blackfire, I've zoomed right in on that function. I see all of the problems that it's making for us. And I'm just gonna go into the code uh, and find where some idiot, some real horrible programmer put this use sleep function. Um, oh, there it is right there, line 217. Let me take that out. This, is, this is, doesn't belong in the do render algorithm, obviously. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna use git blame to see who, um, yeah, who did that? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> I forgot. It's always me. But fortunately, I'm doing this on my own branch, so uh, I can test this uh, once it's committed. Once again, I prove that with the Blackfire profiler on my own branch, and I am able to merge that uh, into the main branch, thus completing two uh, improvements to the Death Stars code. All right, so the video will be here in an hour, but the site's still slow. What could be slowing it down? I think I need to take a new profile. Well, the Death Star is still in construction behind me, so please, please bear with me as the construction coups are hard at work. All right, so we're still getting about a four second load time here, and that's, that's not acceptable. So I'm gonna go to the Blackfire toolbar and take another profile run and see if I can find anything else. And it's definitely going faster now. We're making progress. This is good. So let's look at the data for that. It's finished. Let's go over and look at the, uh, the timeline for the call graph. And wait, three seconds for the HTTP requests. We're making HTTP requests? Why are we taking HTTP requests? Like, let's look at the timeline. And wow, OK, yeah, something is taking an absurdly long time there. What is that? Uh, the bottom of the call stack is curl exec. Why is curl exec running? Okay, let's look up the call stack here and shield generator build. Of course it's a shield generator. Oh no, oh no, okay. The shield generator code, we're, we're calling, sending HTTP requests to the shield generator every page load and it's stupidly slow. Okay, what I should do here is move this to a cron task and cache the data and then show it. But no, I'm just gonna go ahead and hack it because the Vader is gonna be here in an hour. So eh, it's just a temporary fix. I mean, it's not like the shield, gener the shield generator is ever gonna go down. <sighs> yeah, just temporary fix, we'll fix it later. That's good enough. And rebuild the application. Cool. All right. LG 1337, RT 2600. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who authorized you to put off your helmets? Sorry, sir. <clears throat> You'll get laser whipped for that. Anyway, I have been examining your progress on the website. Impressive. Most impressive. Thank you, Levator. Yeah. The CEO will be pleased. In fact, you are both being transferred. Transferred? In the middle of the project? Of course. You will both be assigned to the forest moon below. Nice. Are you fair. pleased? Yes. Make sure the shield generator is protected. The Emperor expects the rebels to try and disable it. <laughs> they won't get past us, sir. Don't disappoint me, soldiers. 
Did we just get promoted? Um, I don't know. But you have to admit, working for the dark side does have its advantages. Ooh, you mean like cookies? Nah, only logged insights get those. Oh man, you did not just go there. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone for watching this stupid uh, skit. Um, <laughs> we're not helped by the dark side, by the way. And, you know, may the dash dash force be with you, right? <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna show you a few things uh, uh, following this. Like, uh, what, what, is, uh, what would be nice would be to, uh, to have a regression test on what, they, uh, on what our two stormtroopers storm did. Uh, so let me show you that. Right. So what I am showing here is that I'm uh, using Blackfire Bootstrap, uh, Blackfire Bootstrap test command. Uh, the Blackfire CLI command is um, is shipped with the the agent. So the Bootstrap test creates uh, a YAML file which is um, with uh, which should uh, relies on uh, lies in at the root of your project. So in a PHP project, it would be at uh, where your Composer JSON uh, is. So I'm using, opening it and you can see here that uh, the generated files have um, default tests. Uh, we can do several type of tests, of course. Uh, here it's very, very basic. Uh, the homepage should be fine, so <clears throat> fast. Uh, here you, you have one path. You can also add this uh, to a command. So then it won't be path, but uh, a command uh, uh, described here with several sessions. So we're, we're going to remove them to uh, create our own. So here we, we, uh, we want that all pages should not be too slow, of course. So here, uh, this is a regexp, so slash star. And we want that to not to exceed two seconds. So this will be our four first uh, first test. So two seconds, of course, it's it's very slow anyway. But you know, our stormtroopers did the best, and we're still using uh, the the beta of Drupal nine. So let's not be too high on our expectations. <laughs> So, and then uh, I will uh, add a new one, so like no sleep or you sleep should be called in uh, any time, at any time in, uh, in a room. In a but why process. not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Best question ever. Yeah. So here I'm using metrics.phpqa.sleep.com, not sleep. Well, uh, 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 we'll fix that a bit later. Um, and I will show you where these metrics come from. And of course, we do not want uh, HTTP requests, uh, slow HTTP requests. Uh, so for this, we were going to use the metrics that HTTP that requests wall time that should be inferior to 300 milliseconds. And last but not least, we want that um, Drupal uh, cache are always on, on the production website so that uh, we do not do this mistake again. So for this, we have uh, um, Drupal metrics for this. So Drupal 8, which works with Drupal 9 as well. So we should not have cache.no. Okay. So now, when uh, I, I went back in time in a different branch so that I can uh, test the, um, the breakage. Okay, so this was the first one. And now we, can, we will be able to see the assertions on the profile. So here, see, I'm gonna disable aggregation so that will it will uh, Blackfire will run only once, not ten times by default. 
So it's still slow, of course, because it's the, the uh, branch before the fixes. That's, that's why I disabled the aggregation because uh, 10 times it's, it can take, take minutes then. All right, it's loading. There's, there's a lot of uh, data here. Okay, so now you can see the red cross here. When I click on that, I'm going to the profile itself but on the assertions tab. And you can see now that we do have all the assertions that we created in the Blackfire website, on the blackfire.yaml file, sorry. So the wall time, the inferred two seconds, the sleep or use sleep. And where did this metrics come from? So here in the um, reference guide about metrics, Actually, you have hundreds of um, native metri metrics uh, for uh, all your tests, so be sure to check that there is one for you. Uh, and if I look for it there for the sleep, you can see that here, metrics.phpqa.sleep. And that will be the same for the HTTP requests and also for Drupal. We have metrics for most uh, CMSs and uh, um, uh, frameworks and whatever you want to use. Uh, so be sure to uh, to check that uh, to check those in uh, in in the documentation in Blackfire documentation. Uh, but the the very nice part of the metrics is that actually you can create your own. Uh, so I won't cover that, but uh, it is quite easy to create your own metrics and base your uh, assertions on them. It's even recommended. So uh, that you know that a specific method on a class is quite expensive. Uh, you want to uh, add a metric about it. Jerome, and, uh, before, you, uh, before you go on, can we clarify something? Um, somebody's asking, is it true that the um, YAML file with the tests are local, but you're profiling remotely? Where do these YAML files have to be for them to kick in on Blackfire? Uh, the, Black, the, the YAML file uh, will be, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's being uh, answered by uh, Christoph, or, well, the random trooper. <laughs> so yes, you, you have to deploy the YAML file, um, but if you're only running uh, locally, it will work anyway because the um, the PHP probe or the Python probe or the Go probe, because yeah, we're not only running on PHP, um, the, uh, it will read the file and then transfer it to the agent, which will tr uh, then upload it to uh, uh, to Blackfire servers. So uh, having it uh, deployed uh, will be necessary for the builds that, that I will show a bit later. So uh, I hope this uh, answers the question. Uh, so another very nice feature of uh, the um, uh, Blackfire YAML is uh, the ability to uh, to write scenarios. The scenarios uh, will be uh, run by uh, the Blackfire player. Uh, Brian, yeah, okay. Thank you, Christoph, for answering. Uh, so, what is Blackfire Player? Actually, Blackfire Player is just yet another uh, curl, um, HTTP client, but uh, it comes with a native uh, DSL, um, which it's quite easy to write and read and write, uh, and has built in uh, uh, Blackfire Profiler uh, integration. So what we're going to do here is to add new uh, scenarios. So we'll keep the the first one, which that which is that the the homepage should uh, be have a 200 status code. So we'll get another one, which is an authenticated homepage, because the problem occurs only for authenticated people. Um, we're making follow the redirections and set different variables. Here only the user login and the password. 
that we're going to use a bit later. So we're going to post uh, the, the login form. We are visiting uh, the home page again, and we're going to click on the login link. So if you're familiar with uh, Behat, it's a bit uh, uh, similar to it. But here for the login, we're going to disable Blackfire because this is not the, the one we want to, uh, to profile. And um, we're going to submit the login button. But we're going to submit, this is a different step, uh, by adding, filling the um, par parameters. So with the name, this is actually the uh, field name for uh, name and pass with, with our variables. And then we're going to disable Blackfire again. And then in the end, visit the home page again. So he, this one should be uh, profiled. And we're going to ask the player to disable the warm up. So we don't want to warm up any cache here. And now we have a home page authenticated with an admin user. And we expect to check that if we are uh, really authenticated, that our body matches like uh, a Blackfire Death Star. So you can match anything here with the um, regexp. And we're going to check if uh, with a CSS selector, uh, if we do have the, the admin toolbar. You can do any check here uh, about uh, anything in the DOM using CSS uh, selectors or even um, uh, XPath if you like it. <laughs> All right. So now what I'm going to do is to validate the YAML file. So you can, can go to Blackfire IO validator and paste everything in here so that we're sure that okay now the blackfire yaml file is valid so we can run it so for this i'm going to use the blackfire player which has been installed globally blackfire player is open source you can install uh check it out and uh, install it on your any computer and we're going to run it with giving him giving it an, an endpoint so the endpoint will be uh, this our your um, platform sh URL, and we're giving it our Blackfire environment, uh, which starts with death because it's death star, and I have an issue here, of course, because I've I forgot to add the Blackfire YAML. We're gonna run Blackfire. Yeah, that's YAML file. Okay, so now you can see it's it will be running any all our steps, all our scenarios and steps <clears throat> as we wrote them. So what I said about the Blackfire environment, uh, you can here pass the environment ID or um, the any part of uh, one of your uh, environment names. I clicked on the results. And now you can see that I have uh, a, a new build on my dashboard, on my build dashboard with uh, uh, five failing constraints, except for the first one, which is uh, un, uh, not authenticated. These ones are the constraints I added with also three recommendations. And we have uh, different profiles for any page that we, uh, we, we did not deactivate, disable the um, profiler uh, to. So here, for instance, you have the first one with the anonymous cache. Of course, it passes all the assertions. So 
here it goes for for this one for the the builds um, one important thing is that the black uh, using blackfire player this way uh, is uh, available uh, for um, is available uh, on um, uh, premium plans and enterprise plans. Uh, for profiler, you won't be able to do such things. However, um, it was for hack, uh, the hack one. Uh, you can see that uh, we're using um, we're using uh, platform sh uh, endpoints. But, uh, the hack plans, which are free. Um, are normally limited to um, uh, to local uh, computers uh, testing on local computers. Uh, this uh, limitation we removed it uh, a few weeks ago, uh, so that now even if you're running a free plan but using Platform SH or even Symphony Cloud or uh, Magento Cloud, which are all based on Platform SH, uh, you will be able to run them. Uh, they will be considered as local. Uh, last but not least thing I wanted to show you is the um, integration, the deep integration we have with platform, with uh, platform SH. Uh, so one thing that is very interesting and why we need to deploy the Blackfire YAML file is that those kind of scenarios that, uh, that we wrote, um, we want to run them each time we deploy to platform SH to an environment. So this can be done um, in your build setup. Okay. So here is the, uh, the build, uh, the profiles dashboard for, uh, from the environment itself. And we're gonna click on the build tab uh, on, and on the build tab you, you can see here all the the history of all your builds you can even see that we have different from a webhook or from blackfire player like, just like we did and here is the trigger from platform sh this is what exactly what i'm going to show you so you can see on the right the platform sh integration you just have to click here so here we're going to regenerate a token but you can also add uh, advanced settings which are the routes.yaml um, and I'm going to regenerate and save. <clears throat> of course, we need to configure Bloodfire uh, on Platform SH. And here it's very easy. So you, you have to choose uh, from the documentation in Integration Platform SH, uh, choose your environments. Here it is. And copy this. So Integration Add from the platform CLI command. And it asks a couple of questions. Here we're gonna skip them all and add, uh, leave the default values. And here we go, we're prepared and everything is configured. So now I'm gonna do a platform redeploy. So that should uh, trigger a new uh, build in platform SH with the scenario that we wrote and deployed. So let's assume that it's uh, staging or production or uh, any environment you want. Uh, I'm going to speed it up for the redeploy command. And yeah, you can see now that here it's running. This is exactly the one we, uh, we trigger that have been triggered from the redeploy commands and it's running our scenario again and it will have any uh, uh, characteristics that uh, you we had with the player before <clears throat> so there it go uh, another in um, interesting uh, feature will would be uh, the um, notifications up here we have uh, we have an enterprise account so you, so you can see that we have notification channel email but you can also get a uh, new uh, notification channel like, like uh, slack for instance to get your bill status 
So that will be it, I think, yes. All right, so uh, I wanted to uh, thank you for, uh, thank you everyone to uh, have uh, followed this uh, silly webinar with us. Uh, so um, as an outcome, uh, we showed that uh, uh, with Platform SH, uh, you are able to um, work on any website uh, that is live, like you, you can work on the production, but without breaking, breaking it. So you just check out the new branch that will uh, check out an environment for you. Uh, so you can smoothly work on it without breaking anything. You can break it, uh, break your own branch if you want. And once you're pleased with it, you just merge and you have deployed. So that's fairly easy and very easy to, uh, to use and quick to use. Um, then about Blackfire, uh, Blackfire makes you um, uh, able to have uh, X-ray glasses uh, on your uh, application, uh, running application. So that's which is different from um, uh, just reading your code because you have, you will ha uh, have an insight of uh, how your application behaves, really behaves, uh, and uh, when when it's running. Uh, and it's, uh, you can do builds with it so that you can write regression tests and scenarios so you can include your um, performance tests and behavior tests uh, with Blackfire within your CI system, for instance, and using Platform SH. So that's it for the Star Wars day. And <laughs> Thanks, Brian Tully saying, so some love the fact that you can add shifting left performance testing into your development process and flag performance issues much earlier in the process. Yes, this was like uh, uh, missing, uh, missing uh, stuff, stuff in, um, in the development process, definitely. And uh, now you can, uh, you know how to, uh, how to use it. And I think it, Jerome, may the force be with you. Oh yeah. Yes. So may the force be with you for sure. Um, I think it might also be worth mentioning just uh, as we're closing uh, and finishing up that you can test all of this on uh, any uh, Python, PHP, and Go web application that you're developing uh, on Platform SH with Blackfire as a part of a free trial. Um, there are instructions for hooking up your Blackfire account and your Platform account, which you have to get separately. You do that by following the instructions on either site. We both have instructions for doing it, but you basically add the token that you get from uh, Blackfire SA, uh, Blackfire IO into your um, platform app YAML file on your platform app, and then uh, it deploys the agent onto the server where your application is running, and that's what does all the communication. I don't think we made it adequately clear that that integration is built into both products. Yes, indeed, we do. Uh, we do have um, a trial period uh, for um, for anyone. It's a 15 days trial period uh, without credit card any uh, needed. So you can just uh, start start it uh, without being bothered by these kind of things. Um, and well, it's uh, it might uh, sound a bit uh, harsh to um, to implement, but uh, it's actually very uh, uh, very quick and very easy. As uh, in the Blackfire documentation, at least we do have a uh, um, quick um, uh, zero, zero, uh, zero copy. So you just have to click on the, uh, on the CLI command, paste it on the terminal, and you will be configured with the platform message right away. We exactly. also Quite got a nice. question from Brian Tully uh, in the comments, uh, Jerome. He's curious about whether you can profile non-web requests like Drush commands. Yes, it's definitely possible. So uh, random trooper <laughs> has answered. Yes, you can with the Blackfire uh, CLI command. So you instead of uh, running uh, through the web browser, which we can you can actually also do with a CLI command. You uh, in the terminal you will run Blackfire run and then your command like Blackfire run PHP or Drush blah blah blah. Uh, you will also be able to do a Blackfire curl 
in, in the same way. So that's uh, the, the CLI is a very uh, uh, very nice tool that you uh, you want to have at hand. You can install it separately. All right. Uh, last of this video. What? Say, what did say you it again. say? No, no Ewoks were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Uh, this this webinar has been uh, recorded anyway, so uh, um, it's going to be posted on YouTube uh, in uh, Blackfire channel and uh, most likely in the platform research uh, channel as well. Uh, so you will be able to uh, to see to watch our silly skit again. <laughs> so thank you all for attending. Thank you, the troopers, uh, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye, right. and uh, stay safe. Bye, bye. Stay at home. Bye.